In Starfield, there is a lockpicking mechanic, and it can be incredibly intimidating even after reading exactly how it's done. And just quickly before we jump into it, there is a category in the skill menu underneath tech where you can basically progress through different levels of locks you start with novice you get advanced you get like master so on and so forth but you can also bank auto attempts which is going to help you out there's a lot of stuff to do with the skills in terms of lock picking but basically when you come across a lock that you need to pick it will have a difficulty tied to it and you would also need something called a digi pick so what you want to do is when you have consumed the digi pick you started to pick the lock you're basically going to have this circle on your screen and you're going to have like at least with the novice locks you're going to have four circles on the right hand side that have these little keys these little pin things and what you want to do is figure out how to get all four of them to slot into place to pick the lock and my biggest recommendation with this is to just be patient take your time because if you mess this up you will consume your digi pick you will lose it and you're going to have to go and find more, or if it's available in the game, I'm not sure because I'm not far enough yet. But if it is available, you'll have to buy more. You will use your digi picks, and at the start of the game at least, they are not too easy to come by. Now, what I recommend doing with this is figuring out one layer at a time. You can pick whether that's the first layer you're going to be like breaking into, or the second layer. And then once you have figured out exactly which of the uh, like combinations you've got on the right hand side of the screen, once you've figured out which ones are going to be used for that first layer, then obviously the others are going to fall into place if you've done it correctly. So on screen, the lock you're going to see, in terms of the combinations I can use, you've got two lots of, I'm going to call them pins, the little line things. You've got two lots of two pins that are very close to each other. Then you've got one that's at like a, I'm going to say like a quarter to four. And then you've got one that's got three different pins. So with this first layer, you'll see on the far right hand side, there are three gaps where pins need to be slotted in. Then on the left hand side, there is one. So if I was to use the three that we've got, so the far right hand side one, I'm going to be left with one gap and there's not a single pin available to use so obviously the three is used for the middle layer the inside layer so then we're left with three different options so what we do with the first one is we use the quarter to four and then after the quarter to four has been placed in we have no other option but to use one of the two pins that are close together and then all you want to do is where you've got the three pins you want to line that up so that they all fit into slots and then you're left with your final one which is just the two pins that are close together. That's going to pick the lock. You're going to get your goodies inside the device, like the container or whatever that you've just picked. So at first, it can be incredibly confusing. But once you've done a couple of locks, you'll understand it. And it's actually quite easy, at least for the novice ones. And if there are drastic changes as I progress through the game and I find the harder difficulty locks, then I'll come back and make a video for those. But if not, that is exactly how to lockpick the easiest way to lockpick in Starfield. And on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.